we'll read one more comment here. Legendary Ostrich says, what are your thoughts on Dr. James White? He saw your vid where you ate the Quran and he came out denouncing it. He says, that's not how you engage in apologetics. Well, I, I would agree that's not how you engage in apologetics, but that had nothing to do with apologetics, right? Um, just to explain a legendary ostrich, if, uh, if, uh, if Osama bin Laden were coming to blow up an orphanage and you shot him, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to say, well, you shot, you shot Osama bin Laden. That's not good apologetics. You're not doing apologetics there. <laughs> that was not, a, that was not, a, it's, it's a mistake to think that the only possible interaction you can have with anyone is apologetics or evangelism. Which one is it? Is it apologetics or evangelism? Those are the only two, those are the only two interactions you could possibly have. That's false. Sometimes you have people who are crossing lines and someone needs to stop them, right? Someone needs to stop them because, you know, everyone understands this if it's a terrorist or something like that. What if it's someone who says, hey, I'm, I have massive popularity. I'm influencing the next generation. And you know what I'm going to influence them to do? I'm going to influence them to harass women with threats of rape and torture. And I'm teaching a generation to do that. Does there ever come up? Does there ever come a point for the Christian to say, actually, no, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm going to stop you because your book gives me a way of stopping you, of making you stop. And keep in mind, hijab already did stop. He immediately stopped. As soon as we went up, oh, I'm going to eat the Quran. He stopped, he started doing other things, whining, coming after us, but he stopped going after women, right? Why? He understands he's required to. Um, but he doesn't want to take down the tweets because that's going to be too much of a hit to his pride. And so I'm going to make him. And guess what? If Christians want to say, no, you mustn't do that. What I'm at, what I'm hearing is, no, if people are heaping abuse on your wife, on women, and they're starting a campaign of abuse, given the, especially given the history of this religion, and its impact on women in the, in the Muslim world and the grooming gangs, the rape gangs, all of this stuff. If you know the impact and how this religion views women and the impact it has on women, um, once they start, once they start deciding, you know what we need, we need more abuse of women. If your response is, well, no, as a Christian, we can't put a stop to that. Well, let's just say I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one.